Hello, President Biden. My name is Morgan Elliott, and I'm one of the co-founders of our family-run industrial hemp company, IND Hemp. In 2018, my dad, Ken Elliott, his wife, Julie, and I launched ourselves into the industrial hemp industry, focusing on what our industry desperately needed, processing. We are located here in Fort Benton, Montana, which has a long, rich history of first. As a famous stopping point on the Lewis and Clark Trail, this is the birthplace of Montana, and now it is the birthplace of an industry with the first true scalable industrial hemp campus. We are food, feed, and fiber. What started out just a couple years ago of just my family has grown into a family of over 30 employees, all who are motivated and passionate about making lasting change in the communities that we live in, the soil that we grow in, and the nutritious products that we offer. You have heard and will continue to hear about the amazing things that this crop can do, and your administration can support an industry that is truly sustainable, regenerative, innovative, and dynamic. If we take our campus here as an example, which at full-scale production will employ over 75 employees, and similar centers come online, we can see some substantial impact. If in the next five years, the grain and fiber industry grows to 8 million acres, that could easily translate into over 70,000 jobs and $12 billion in market share. That's not including the farms, the ranches, and the customers that see such great impact from this wonderful crop. We know those numbers may not be staggering, but in a community like Fort Benton with less than 1,500 people in population, 70 jobs is life-changing. This town, like so many other rural communities across this country, has been on a steady decline. Fewer and fewer farmers, smaller and smaller class sizes, local businesses struggling to stay afloat. We know that we're not the only solution, but we can say from personal experience that we've seen a boost in energy and hope where we need it most, with the jobs, in the neighborhoods, and with the American family. Hemp needs a supportive and progressive administration. It needs well-funded research, fair regulations, and time to develop. But we know with a little bit of help and investment in the right technology, hemp has roots to change a nation, if not the world. We call it the goodness of hemp.